My name is Dominic Hodge. I come from South Africa. I am an advocate in South Africa, which is the South African equivalent of a barrister. We have a split bar. Um, I studied initially my a Bachelor of Commerce, Bachelor of Laws and Master of Commerce in Taxation at Rhodes University in South Africa. Uh, I've been in practice uh, for a number of seven years uh, in South Africa. I practice mainly um, in the commercial fields, uh, in intellectual property, taxation uh, and general commercial litigation as is characteristic of a um, junior advocate at the South African Bar. From a legal perspective as a practitioner in whatever field you practice, uh, the luxury associated with the broadening of both fields uh, of practice uh, as well as perspective is always invaluable. And particularly in the technology sphere, for example in the robotics program, uh, where you consider aspects from developers' uh, perspectives uh, and from the technologi uh, technological sense, or, as you say, technologically proper uh, sense as opposed to having the legal um, slant on it. That gives you, I think perspective is the way to put it. And so when you're interacting with clients uh, and matters uh, involving technological aspects, you then are able to understand their, or relate uh, to their position better um, than you would in the absence of having uh, gone through that, that exercise. Um, I think also because of some of the areas that the program touches on uh, being areas that are not necessarily uh, legally traditional in the sense of having been litigated, uh, particularly from the data protection side of things, I mean that's all very new, um, from a legisl uh, legislative perspective on the GDPR and all of that, um, that has been enriching in that you're considering perspectives that haven't necessarily made their way through the courts and as they do then you're able to um, consider the matter from various angles that you might otherwise not necessarily have um, associated with the field. I think most master's degrees are self-driven and the facilitative aspects of an online learning program uh, I think were perhaps richer uh, than a, a traditional master's program in that you're from an accessibility perspective you are then dealt with uh, or you're then dealing with a, a far more accessible uh, program, uh, both from a timing perspective uh, and from an availability perspective. Your interaction with both your colleagues uh, through the portals available through Edinburgh, uh, as well as your lecturers, is probably or facilitates probably a richer experience uh, than a traditional program where you are bound by the constructs of time and availability in the traditional sense. Edinburgh is a fantastic place. Uh, it's very easy to lose one's part to it, uh, especially uh, being surrounded by uh, the law school and the people here. There's a great diversity, I think, of uh, graduates who have been through the program, and it's something you experience during the program uh, when you're in, in it. I spoke earlier of perspective, uh, and both geographical, but it spans also across ages, across disciplines, and across uh, personality types. Um, it's very easy in the legal sphere to be um, sucked into a certain mindset. Uh, you're generally f surrounded by lawyers. I mean, you have your clients and that sort of thing. Uh, but there's a very um, specific uh, type of person that you practice with. And I think, and it's definitely one of the benefits that maybe I didn't mention earlier as well, is that you are surrounded by people from all sort of uh, different walks of life. And that has been very, very enriching experience. And so it's quite exciting. It's onward and on to the next thing.